I'm Steve from This Week with Cars, and this weekend I'm out camping in my M109 A3. I just got this last weekend, so I've thrown a few things in to make it campable. Let me show you around. I have a generator running on the other side, plugged into the shore power. I've thrown a bed in here, just some stuff that I've had lying around. This is a king size bed. I think I might have to go with a smaller one so that I get a little bit more room in here. But there is plenty of space. I might be able to make this work. I have a big fan that I hung over there. I am using the exhaust fan as well. And I put a screen up over that access hole over there just to make sure that things don't fly in here. You can see I have the power on over there. So I do have use of my 120 volt lights that are on the ceiling. Of course, there is a couple 24 volt lights up there as well. I have a little fridge in here. So I have some food and stuff. I have a bunch of camping gear. Maybe I can get that stuff set up later. But I think I have everything I need for this weekend. So this will be a good trial run for this truck. See what I need. I also have my Caterpillar D4 down here. This is the local off-road park and we have a lot of cleanup to do. We have a lot of downed trees from the big inland hurricane that came through a few weeks ago. As well as we are trying to set up a bunch of new obstacles which means a lot more stuff for me to play on in videos for you. This will be the first time that I put the Caterpillar to work, so I hope everything works out.
pushing on all those rocks has changed my clutch adjustment, so I need to go in there and adjust it. Um, I'm losing my pushing capacity as well as my turning ability, so I'm going to take the clutch cover off and see if I can make an adjustment to it. The clutch cover is this cover right here, so I just need to take those six bolts out and then pop that up. Okay, I have the plate loose. Let's take a look, see what's in here. I probably should have removed this before. You can see there's a lot of water dripping out of it now. The water only started dripping once I started to loosen the bolts. All right, I've got it cracked open. You can see the water pouring out of there. Of course, this thing sat outside for a very long time. So I left this bolt here. That way I can rotate the cover out of the way and I don't actually have to remove it. Oh boy, look at that. That should be clear. There shouldn't be stuff stuck there like that. That's just all grime and gunk that has sat on the bottom of the clutch housing. Look at that stuff. I'm going to regret trying to fix this in the field. Well, back to the drawing board. It doesn't look like this model is going to allow me to adjust it from the bottom either. I'll have to access it from the top. But I am glad that I got in here and got this cleaned out. There was a lot of water sitting in the bottom. Again. Okay, how the clutch adjustment works here is you undo this nut, that one right there. It takes a three quarter inch deep socket with a very big breaker bar. And then you spin this part with the fingers while holding the disc behind it in place. And you spin that in or out to set how much pressure you're gonna put on the clutch. And this is an adjustment that you have to make quite often on these old machines. So I'm gonna get this in the right place. I did push this up out of the way while I was adjusting it. So I need to bend this back so it points at the hole here. And I will uh, get the clutch adjusted and we'll get this machine back in action. Okay, I've got it adjusted so that when I pull back, it takes some force, but I can lock it into place and the clutch stays engaged. So I think I'm gonna lock it down right there. Make sure you re-tighten this nut really tight so that this doesn't slip. All right, I've got it back together. Here goes nothing. And it looks like it's alive again. So I wanna try fourth gear now. Cause if it won't move in fourth gear, then I know the clutches aren't adjusted right. Moves just fine, so it looks like I've got it readjusted. Well, that was a really successful weekend. We got a lot done here. We had a lot of equipment, a lot of people here just picking up stuff, a lot of chainsaws. We got the whole grounds cleaned up and I'm really excited to get some vehicles out here and show you what they can do on these obstacles and the trails that we've made here. If you like videos like this, comment below and click subscribe.